Hello and welcome to Okivoto Reviews. Today we'll be comparing spare wheels to tire repair kits and at the end of this video we will find out which one is the most suitable option here in Kenya. If you are into cars you may have probably already noticed that most modern vehicles now come with tire repair kits instead of spare wheels. There are three main reasons why car manufacturers have moved away from spare wheels to tire repair kits. The first one is space. Spare wheels occupy more space compared to tire repair kits. The second reason is the cost. It's cheaper to produce a tire repair kit than a spare wheel. And the last reason is weight. Spare wheels weigh more compared to tire repair kits. More weight means more fuel consumption. So manufacturers are trying to cut down on the weight of these vehicles so that they can get better fuel consumption figures. So one of the ways they've reduced the weight is by getting rid of the spare wheels. Before we continue, as usual, I'll kindly request you to consider subscribing to the channel if you find this content helpful. You can also support the production of this content either by donating or by purchasing some artworks that are available for sale. If you are interested, then reach me via WhatsApp. Your support will be much appreciated. That said, let's get back to the comparison. We will look at the advantages and disadvantages of tire repair kits as well as spare wheels. But before that, let's have an idea of how tire repair kits work. A tire repair kit is composed of two main components or two main things. A sealant, which is a whitish fluid that seals a tire puncture. Then the second component is an air compressor that is used to inflate a tire. A few things to note before we continue. One is that you can only use a tire repair kit to temporarily repair a small puncture and that puncture has to be on the tire treads. If the puncture is on the tire walls or the sides, then that tire repair kit will not help you. Then something else is that the tire repair kit will be affected by water or rain and also sand particles. So you have to ensure that when you're using that repair kit, there is no rain or water around and there's also no too much sand particles around. So now let's have a very brief and basic explanation of how these repair kits work. Once you realize that you, one of your wheels is punctured, you will get the repair kit from the boot, then connect the repair kit to the nozzle, the tire nozzle using the tube that comes with the repair kit. After that, connect the power plug to a 12 volt power socket inside the car. Then now attach the sealant bottle to the compressor. Once that is done, you can now start the car so as to power the compressor, then switch the compressor on. There is an on and off button on the compressor. Once it's on, the air and sealant mixture will start flowing into the tire. And you need to be careful and monitor the pressure gauge so that you don't overinflate the tire. Once the reading reaches the recommended pressure, you can now switch off the compressor and disconnect both the tire from the compressor and the power plug from the socket. The next thing to do is to drive a short distance to enable the sealant to spread evenly inside the tire. Now, if you notice that the tire pressure has reduced again, then it will most likely mean that the puncture is large and air is quickly seeping out from the tire. In such a case, you will use the compressor again to inflate the tire, then drive to the nearest tire center. On the other hand, if the tire pressure remains constant, then this will mean that most likely the puncture has been sealed. But remember, it's a temporary solution. You will still need to get the tire checked properly. So with that brief explanation out of the way, let's now have a look at the advantages and disadvantages of a tire repair kit. Let's begin with the advantages. The first one is that 
tire packets are compact so they save on space giving you more cargo room unlike a spare wheel that occupies more 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 space secondly you can use the compressor to adjust the tire pressure you don't really need to go to a petrol station or uh, a tire repair center to inflate your tires the last one is that they are lightweight and this aids in better fuel efficiency because the car will now be lighter as opposed to when there is a heavy spare wheel in the car. So what are the disadvantages? The first one is that you cannot use a tire repair kit when it's raining or when there's water around because that will affect it and it may not work properly. It's also affected by dust or sand particles. Secondly, if the puncture is on the sides of the tires, then you are out of luck because these repair kits cannot seal such punctures. The other disadvantage is that larger punctures cannot be sealed with the repair kit. It can only repair small punctures that are located along the treads. Another disadvantage is that you cannot drive for long with that repaired tire. It's only, it's only meant to enable you to reach a tire repair center. In fact, it's recommended that you should not exceed a distance of around 100 kilometers with a repaired tire. Next one is that in order to use these tire repair kits, you need some expertise. It's not something that is well known like using a spare wheel. In fact, if you use it improperly, that repair kit that is meant to help you may end up totally damaging the tire. The last disadvantage is that you will have to keep buying or purchasing a new sealant once you use the current one and it can only be used once. So those are the disadvantages and they are quite many. Now let's also have a, a quick look at the advantages and disadvantages of spare wheels. Then we'll finalize by finding out which one is better. Beginning with the advantages, the first one is that a spare wheel is more convenient in that you can use it anytime and it's not affected by water or dust. Secondly, you can drive for longer distances with a, with a spare wheel and I'm referring to a full-size spare wheel, not the smaller space saver or donut wheels. For those donut-sized wheels, you can only drive up to a speed of around 80 km per hour and also just for short distances, not long distances. The third advantage is that learning how to use a spare wheel is easy and straightforward. The learning curve is not as long as that of using a, a repair kit. Once you learn how to do it, it becomes a simple and fast job to do. So now, what are the disadvantages of spare wheels? They are only two. The first one is that they are heavy and occupy more space, so they eat up your cargo space. The second and last disadvantage is that if you're not well experienced at using a spare wheel, it may be a bit risky to change a tire beside the road, especially if the surface beside the road is uneven because the jack may, may slip and then the car may tip on that side that has no tire and end up injuring you. So a lot of care and caution should be taken when changing, when changing a tire. So there you have it. It's clear that the tire repair kits have many disadvantages and you really need some expertise. They are not convenient compared to spare wheels. You can, you can imagine if you Say you are traveling from Nairobi to Mombasa, then you get a puncture in the middle of nowhere and you don't even have a spare wheel. All you have is a tire repair kit and you are not very conversant with how it's used or you may even know how to use it. But then in the process of repairing the tire, you end up damaging the tire due to an improper job. It can get very tr tricky. So the best thing to do is just to get a spare wheel. It will save you time and it will be way more convenient. But remember to also always have the compressor in the car, even though you have a spare wheel, because it will enable you to adjust the tire pressure whenever you may need to. So I hope this has been helpful.
if your car doesn't have a spare wheel then you should seriously consider buying one relying on these tire repair kits is not so advisable especially on long journeys that's it for this episode thank you for watching stay safe see you in the next video